Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. OK, so does thinning hair concern you? You're starting to see a little bit more hair than what you'd like when you wash your hair or when you style your hair. That can happen to all of us for a number of different reasons. I have fine textured hair myself and I always am very, very interested in trying out all new different products to try and keep more hair on my head and to keep it as thick and full as possible. Today I want to talk to you a range which is more of the premium side of the range for hair care but it is a fantastic range at that and it is all about designing for or looking after for sorry designed for fine thinning or less dense hair. So the range we're going to be looking at today is by Decos Technique and it's uh, I believe it's a L'Oreal owned brand and this is by Vichy Laboratories. So this is I'll be straight up with you it is a premium sort of end um, more sort of it's high street base but it's towards the higher end of how much you would pay. So before we go any further, I think it's really honest uh, for me to, really important for me to be quite honest with you in terms of cost. So we're going to be looking at a treatment spray here. OK, we're going to be looking at a shampoo and we're going to be looking at a thickening. It's not designed, it's not called a conditioner. It's called a restoring thickening balm. So and that is altogether a little bit more of an investment in yourself. So it's not just your everyday standard shampoo off of the supermarket shelf. Now, if it is a little bit too much for you, think of it as an investment in yourself, which you may well see, I'm not going to guarantee it, but you may well see huge results. Number one, why have I started using it? I'm going to grab a comb and I'm going to show you. So I love this comb, by the way. This one, I bought this from Amazon. It's a Jack Dean Pompadour comb from when I used to have shorter hair and all up on the top with loads of volume. So I'm going to show you all throughout my hair here. And as you can see, I've got some gapped areas and you may think that this is crazy. He hasn't got any hair loss or anything like this at all. My hair is much, much thicker for using two products which are stemite oxidine based. Now, the one I've got just behind here is this one, which I absolutely love. And this is by L'Oreal Professional. This is Surioxal. This is stemioxidine. Um, and there is an antioxidant in here of resveratrol in here as well. So that's slightly different. I have got a uh, I've got a, a clip which covers all of that as well. But why it links and why I've shown you that is because the treatment spray, this one, includes stemioxidine. And it also has an antioxidant in here. And this one, it has resveratrol in here. So you've got the French version on the back here. Um, and then you've got the, I believe it's French anyway, and you've got the English version on the front here. Now, I bought this from Boots. Now, before we get into this, this treatment sp uh, spray is £25. OK. And the shampoo is around 12 all the way up to about 15 pounds okay and that's 250 mils it's really great because you've got the pump action bottle on here as well mm -hmm. and then you've got not the conditioner they don't call it a conditioner it's the restoring thickening balm and this is a small amount this is only 200 mils but again it's between 12 and 15 pounds um straight with you it is really a complete different sort of system than what you would have probably have been used to, to be quite honest with you. The shampoo acts very much as a shampoo would, but the thickening balm, it really is something quite else. It, it really is very, very different. And you can really tell it's towards the higher end of the spectrum of sort of plumping, sort of uh, thinning conditioners for thinning hair aimed at fine hair, of course, really getting to work, making it appear thicker and fuller. And the treatment spray is something I absolutely really, really enjoy using. Now, I have got in front of me here, I've got two treatment sprays. OK, now these are empty and I've got one actually in my bathroom here. So this is to prove, because I've had a few comments on my channel. Um, now, the thing is, my channel is all about honesty and why on earth would you not be integral in what you're telling people? So I love to review products, particularly for helping grow thicker, fuller, finer hair. I suffered with hair loss problems in the past. Back in 2015, I had a patch of hair loss in here. Um, I had a lot of different problems and I've had a particularly stressful year as well. What I try and use is a stemioxidone based product, which is either now this one or this one here. And I try and use that about three, maybe four times a year for a couple of weeks, each sort of bout of time I use it. Um, so going back to what I was saying, I've got two empty bottles of this here where I've used it. OK, and I've got one in my bathroom, which I haven't got. And that's one I'm using on about halfway down through here. So it is a fantastic product. I want to start with you by saying it's a product which I use. I absolutely love it and I would really, really recommend it. Um, the treatment spray for me with stemioxidine, I can feel in my hair. And it's really, really hard for me to show you because earlier today I tried playing around with the camera to see if I could if I could get some snaps of the actual small areas where 
uh, I've really seen improvement. Um, and it's really difficult to get those errors to show on screen. But what I can show you is I am not, I haven't, I'm not at a stage where I'm losing copious amounts of hair. But what I would say to you is prevention is always better than cure. So if you are someone who's sat there watching this and you're thinking to yourself, oh my God, my hair's absolutely coming out tons. Do something. Don't wait for it. Really don't wait for it because hair loss can happen for any any apparent reason at all. It can be what you're going through. It can be stress. It can be diet. It can be medication. It can be one of many things. I always say that our hair is the inner expression of what our health is going on inside our body. So please just remember that and always talk to a medical pro professional before that this is certainly a very good system to use. But if you're doing anything drastic or you're looking at taking vitamins or, or uh, medications online, just be really, really careful and always speak to a medical professional first of all. So my areas of concern are, well, to be honest with you, I've seen such a transformation in my hair. Um, and I'm not saying that I've gone from bold to being absolutely loads of hair, what you can see now. My hair is fine, as you can see, but I've got quite a lot of it. So the areas which concerned me Back in 2015, I had a patch area in here, and it seems every time I get a bit stressed out or anything like that, I've had huge trauma this year through having had um, uh, a major operation. I've lost my grandmother, who I'm very, very close to, and that's just turned my life up, upside down. So if I'm going through anything like that, when I can be bothered, I'll be quite honest with you, after all of that, what I've gone through, to start looking at my hair again, then Stomioxidine is a product which I turn to. And I've had great results from the L'Oreal uh, Stomioxidine uh, Denser Hair Solution. I've used that on and for many years now, on and off since 2015, which I've seen great results from that, which I shout out from the rooftop, rooftops, rooftops, rooftops on my channel. Um, but my areas of concern are in here. Now you can see I've got my hairline, I've got my hairline, but behind my hairline, it's thinner. Okay, it's much thicker with this range. And I've got an area in here. And if I hold my hair, hair up, you can kind of just vaguely see just in behind here where my areas of concern was. And just in here again, the same in this temple region, I've got the hairline intact, but my problem is behind, okay, I've got a little bit more of a thinner uh, region and in behind here as well. It's much, much thicker, much, much fuller. And if I go like this on my hair, okay, I can really feel tiny little spiky hairs coming through. I don't know, it probably won't on here, this camera won't pick it up, but I have got in this area short little spiky hairs throughout my scalp as well. Unfortunately, it doesn't pick it up. Um, and I'm not that advanced with my techniques and things for YouTube at the moment of how to be able to show you, but hopefully you can just kind of see that there are small hairs coming through. And as you can just move that out of the way here, and you can kind of see that the hairs are getting stronger and they are getting thicker because what I can do is I can sort of comb these hairs in and it's, it's thicker. So as you can see, it is thicker everywhere. I had an area in here, which to be quite honest with me, honest with you, I don't know why I'm mixing up my words so much here today. Um, you can see now that that looks pretty equal. Whereas before this went back a little bit here and it really kind of concerned me. The next area on my head, and as you can see, the density, which I'm going to go through in a moment, which gives you, is really, really cool. I had an issue here where this part of my head was finer and thinner, and I could really feel that there was something different, something happening. Whenever I styled my hair, whenever I washed my hair, it seemed to come from here. I don't know quite why. And I had an issue where I had more of that sort of up here as well, back. So not in the hairline, but back here. Now, straight away, I know I haven't got major hair loss or anything like that at all. I know I haven't got problems probably with hair loss, but thinning can occur anywhere. And if you have got a slight amount of thinning or your hair is starting to change, the quicker you get on top of it, the better you have chance of holding on to the hair you've got. Hair is not just one of those things you can use a product once or you can take a pill once and it's solved. It's a constant sort of upkeep thing throughout your whole life. One of my key things which I recommend is using a stemioxidine based solution, whether that be the Cerioxyl semi-oxidine with resveratrol in here, 5%, or this one here. And this doesn't actually tell us what percentage this is in here, but both are very, very good products, okay? And they do offer a lot, which we're going to go into. Not in great depth, but I really do want to go into this with you. And then the key is take a minute to massage the scalp. So what I do is I part my hair, okay? I part my hair across the top, sort of just showing a loose parting. Okay, then I drop the product through if I'm using the pipette, uh, 
pet one by uh, Cerioxal. If you want to know more about that, I'll attach it at the end. But this is a spray applicator bottle. Okay, so then what I just do is I just spray all the way through. Okay, there's none in here, so I'm just showing you as an action. Then I just take the time to massage that in. I spray a few more pumps in the areas which concern me, so my hairline and little areas here, and then slightly at the back. And then what I do is I part my hair once there, then I may come up again, another passing, then I sort of do another passing, and then again I do on the opposite side. So about four or five passings across the top of my head, which I find works really, really well. Now, let's move on to how the actual products work. So, shampoo. Here we go. So pump action bottle, fantastic, 250 mils. OK, so you've got density solutions here. We have got thinning and weak hair. It's with rahamanos and phylloxazine. Phylloxazine actually works at plumping the actual cuticle, the hair out. So if you imagine a sponge, it's trying to sort of really plump and bulk out that hair. What I noticed straight away, this it's got a really, really nice smell. You can tell it's more premium and you don't need much of it at all. Now, I know you can get that with cheaper products as well and fantastic results. But don't forget, this is aimed at making your hair thicker, fuller and denser, which I'll be very honest to you, it's not apparent straight away, of course, when your hair is wet when you're shampooing. But what you do find is that it's ultra cleansing, but it doesn't strip the hair. It does have a nice texture to the hair. So straight away, it works at getting volume into the hair and getting that texture. And it sets us up nicely to go on to the thickening balm. I'll just tell you a little bit about it on the back here. So we've got Density Solutions as a range designed to restore thickness and volume and leaves hair feeling stronger day after day. This thickening shampoo acts from the scalp to remove impurities and revitalize hair from the roots. Its action on the hair provides strength to the fibre for thicker, healthier looking hair. Usage, apply, apply shampoo onto the scalp and wet hair. Gently massage and rinse. And that is something what I actually do as well. So I make, it, I, make a, uh, I make time just to really massage my scalp and really, really make sure that I'm getting those ingredients working on my scalp. Sometimes I shampoo twice, so once to get rid of any product out of my hair, then the second time for those ingredients to really get to work on my scalp and my hair. It mentions about stronger hair. Okay, my roots of my hair feel stronger. My hair for a long, long time, um, before I started using stomach oxide, where I was quite stressed all the time, and I still am, that's not going to probably change. Um, and it's not the case all the time, but I do find that my hair is stronger particularly in the hair roots and the front of my uh, hair here, it doesn't seem to be so weak. So if I'm combing or if I'm styling my hair, I don't seem to see so much um, hair in my hands or anything like that at all. So it really does make my hair feel much more resistant and much more stronger. And that anchorage to the scalp where the hair is more on your scalp rather than the sink in your hands is certainly there. One thing I have forgotten, how long have I been using this? I have been using this for approaching about eight weeks now. So I am really starting to see some really great effects with this product. I've been using this a lot longer on and off. And of course, I've been using the L'Oreal Cerioxyl uh, on and off for quite a long time as well. So I've used this for years. Um, this one I've used for about eight weeks now, and I did use this when this first came out. So I'm not a newbie to this product at all. This is really, really very good. So stomach oxidine, I absolutely very much um, recommend. Okay, we'll be going on to what stomach oxidine does in just a moment. So the thickening, restoring balm. So this has got rahamanose in here, ceramide, and it's got peppermint oil. So peppermint oil, we all know, or if you don't, peppermint oil is really very good at revitalizing and awakening those follicles in that scalp. It's said to stimulate the scalp and to stimulate growth. Okay, um, and of course, it's got a really nice smell. It's really fresh. It's really zingy. This stuff works incredible on the scalp. It really, really does. It's like nothing I've actually used before on my hair, I will say. It's not like a conditioner. It's got a really nice, light sort of texture. It doesn't feel heavy. Even though it feels slightly heavy in the palm, you feel like it was almost like a cream. It's cooling straight away. And what it does, I leave it on my hair for a couple of minutes. Um, we'll go on to what it says on the back in just a moment. And what I find is that it almost puts your hair back to renew, like a renewed status. It's an ultra sleek feeling, but it makes the hair feel fuller, even though it's wet. As soon as you've got that thickening balm on, it feels that you've got more of it. So it's really strange. It's quite sciencey. Um, I know it sounds really, really strange, but it really does uh, feel, and you can really tell that it's a great premium rated product and I absolutely love that. So let's just tell a little bit about what it says here. So uh, Density Solutions is a range designed to thicken, strengthen and provide 
uh, visible thickness and volume day after day. This regenerating thickening balm acts from the scalp to moisturize it and improve its quality whilst its action on fiber works to restore stronger, thicker, healthier looking hair. Now, visibly efficiency. It says here, hair fiber looks re-thickened, 90% agree, stronger looking hair, 91% agree. Now, this was a consumer test based on the shampoo, the balm, and the concentrate care of 178 people over two weeks. And that was 90% found it thicker, found that made their hair thicker, 91% made it uh, appear stronger and was stronger. So this I absolutely love. Ceramide, I believe, is almost like um, an ingredient which acts as almost like the cement formation around the cuticle of the hair, so it fills in any sort of breaks, any areas. Bear in mind, I'm not saying split ends or breakage or anything like that at all. It makes those weaker parts of the hair stronger, more resistant, fuller. So therefore, it's plumping up that, that cuticle of hair as well, making it stronger and appear fuller and stronger. What it does, when you use a blow dryer for your hair, it does really lift the hair. So straight away from the scalp, you can feel it really kind of slightly inflated. It makes that hair feel appear that you've got more of it. It gives you that fullness in the roots area. I've actually used it today and you can see I've got, I've got, no styling product, just a little bit of sort of hairspray, which uh, free spray, which I've had in my hair, but not in the roots at all. Um, and you can see if I move my hair either which way, the volume which that gives, and I've actually passed a straightener through my hair. So usually my hair would sit flat as pancake, um, flat as whatever you want to call it. But this stuff really does work at giving you really great volume. And as you can see, I've gone from the side there. And if I part my hair down through the middle, you can see straight away that I've got like sort of like that bend with the volume in the roots there, and it's not flat, it's sort of like thicker. So it really does work, and I absolutely recommend this one. Let's move on to the stemioxidine. So this is the hair mass recreating concentrate with uh, respiratory and stemioxidine. It's for thinning and sparse hair. So if you're sat there thinking, what on earth is he going on about? He's got tons of hair. Yeah, okay, I've got tons of fine hair, but I've had my problems, and bearing in mind, prevention is better than cure. I'm trying to keep his much hair as possible and keep it as full as possible and keep the problem areas which concern me away at bay and trying to look after them and keep them thick and full as possible. If you're looking at me and you've got half the hair I've got or you've got more but you're concerned with losing it, you can still use this. If you've got more hair than me and you're you're concerned with your temples or, your, or the sort of the area at the back of the head here for men which is the most susceptible area usually, then you can use this as a preventative measure. The thickening balm is really really great to use and the shampoo. Okay, Perhaps you don't necessarily need to use them at both at the same time. I've done that before. Use a shampoo one day, then use a thick and a balm the next day. Fantastic. Mix and match what you have. Sometimes that works. I know we all can't necessarily afford to buy this range all the time, use it every single day of our lives. I can't, to be quite honest with you. But how I do my channel, it's something I work out and it's something which I really, really enjoy. So it's something which I allocate to me to be able to do this. And then, of course, to be able to showcase this on my channel. The one product I do buy consistently is the treatment spray. And if I don't buy this one, I buy the Stomach Plant L'Oreal solution here. Um, going back to what this does. So let's tell you a little bit about it on the back here. So do not spray on naked flames or an ignition source. So it's flammable. OK, which you could probably understand. Um, OK, so keep away from sources of ignition. Ignition, avoid spraying towards eyes or an irritated skin. We know that. So it is a bit, it's it's quite strong. So if you've got a sensitive scalp, just approach with caution. Now I know that that sounds like we're dealing with plain fuel here, doesn't it? But it's not. It can just, and I have had it a little bit, on the nape of my neck, okay, it gets a little bit agitated if any of the residue runs down from the back of my scalp, okay, into this area here. It has been one or two times a little bit sort of uncomfortable, but if I've just got some cool water, wash it off, it's resolved, it's gone away. But of course, if you've got a little bit of a dry skin or sensitive skin, just approach with caution. But this stuff is really very good. And if I just tie a little bit more about it on the back here, we will jump into what Stomachstein is all about. Okay, so we have got here. So Density Solutions is a range designed to strengthen hair and provide physical thickness and fullness day after day. This concentrated scalp care acts intensively for visibly stronger and denser looking hair with each application. So visible efficiency, 80% of people felt their hair looked denser just after two weeks of application. 91% of their um, of those said their hair felt stronger. And this is, again, separate because, of course, we've covered we've covered the thickening balm and we've covered the shampoo. So sli all slightly different um, percentages there, but 
The shampoo and the conditioner are together, so that was 90% thought it was thicker, 91% thought it was stronger. On the spray, 80% thought it looked thicker um, and denser, 91% said that it felt stronger. So formulated with resveratrol. So resveratrol is derived from a Japanese plant known as longlivity molecule. Resveratrol is also used as an antioxidant in skincare solutions. So resveratrol is my understanding that it helps stemi oxidine act quicker. Okay, so it's almost like an improved clarity for stemi oxidine. It helps keep oxidative stress at bay, so it really looks it after the scalp, and it really starts to get that regeneration process of those hair cells. If you've got dormant follicles, if you've got areas where you know you haven't had hair before, just have a little bit of um, an expectation. If you haven't had hair in an area for a very, very long time, then it's probably not going to be a miracle worker for you. In fact, it's not. Um, I would say, I would put that out there. I don't think it's a miracle worker. But if you've got problems with your hair, which it's changing, it's concerning you, there's less hair there, your hair's getting thinner. Perhaps if you're a woman, you're watching this, your parting's getting wider. Perhaps if you're a man, your temples are going up a bit higher, you're a bit thinner on the top here. Then this is something to jump straight in with you. I've seen great benefits from it myself. So I really recommend Stemioxidine. Respiratorial is that antioxidant. So anything we'd expect from an antioxidant, pumping vitality, health into those areas, it's really going to work. So it's really getting that vitality and health into the hair cells there, which we're going to use it on. Now, stemioxidine is an absolute interesting one. It's a topic in itself, to be quite honest with you. So stemioxidine mimics what we have on our scalp already. Now, if I start by just briefly touching on the hair growth cycle, which I've written down here. So I have got, so I've so I've got my sort of go-to, so I don't want to get this wrong. So if we start with the growth cycle of the hair, so that's anagen. So we know then that the hair is on our scalp, it's growing strong, and hopefully it grows really nice and full and thick. But afterwards, when your hair has had its growth cycle, then what it starts to move into is the next stage, which I believe is the catagen stage, which is regression. And that is when the hair is getting ready, it's kind of detaching from those, those areas where it gets all its blood source, its nutrients, and everything like that at all. So so it's just attaching there and it's starting to go in that phase where it's just resting, which then leads us on to the telogen stage, which is, of course, resting. So then the follicle can stay there for about two weeks, I believe. And then when you're brushing your hair, you're styling, or you're washing your hair or whatever, it will just naturally come away once that happens. Then after that, of course, is the shedding, which is the exogen. That's the hair actually leaving the scalp, of course. And then you have got that hair uh, follicle, which should hopefully then go back in to the anagen, which is the growth stage. But that window from where the hair falls out of the follicle, okay, so then it starts growing again, okay, there is thought to be another hair process or another step in the journey or the cycle called, bear with me, I just want to pronounce this one right, kenogen. Okay, now this is a window of when the hair starts to produce back again. So, for example, your left could be weeks, could be a couple of um, two, three months, I believe, when I've done my research with that follicle with no hair in at all because it's regenerating, it's recreating, it's redeveloping that hair. What semioxidine does is it tries to shorten that window. So, for example, if you've got 10 hairs under a, under a telescope on your scalp, say, for example, four of them fall away naturally. What semioxidine does, if you imagine on a normal scalp, that may take several weeks. It may take two months for the hair to grow back in. So those four hairs out of that 10 are left with no hair in that follicle, whereas stemonoxidine pushes that window closer together and helps the hair grow through quicker, fuller, and thicker. So therefore, in that space, okay, with using stemonoxidine out of those 10 hairs under that telescope, if four falls away, okay, then before they start to grow in, you may get a couple more fall away naturally, so that your hair feels finer. With using stemonoxidine, it's pushing those four through much, much quicker. So theoretically, hair is going to grow longer. It's going to grow stronger because you've got the antioxidant in there from resveratrol. You've got the stemioxidine, which is trying to awake dormant follicles. It's trying to bring health and vitality back into the scalp. So it's trying to mimic what goes onto the scalp, but in a much more healthier, in a much more exuberant way, as to speak. So it really does get to work on trying to grow thicker and fuller hair. Is it a miracle worker, in my opinion? No, I don't believe it is. Is it 
is it a tool which is going to help people, it's been out for a while now, but is it a tool which can help people hold on to their hair and help grow and hopefully in areas achieve regrowth for thicker, fuller and the most densest possible hair which you can grow personally yourself? Then yes, absolutely, I agree with that. I absolutely love Stemmy Oxidine. I believe it's under the, the window of L'Oreal Professional. Vichy Laboratories, I believe, is L'Oreal and of course L'Oreal uh, Professional by um, Stemmy Oxidine, which is really, really great, which house the Stemmy Oxidine brand. Um, not brand, rather, the product, which I believe is painted it to them. So lots going on with Stemmy Oxidine, lots to offer. I have used Stemmy Oxidine, as I say, on and off since 2015, and I've seen great results. Um, I've had problems with hair fall, I've had problems with excessive hair fall, and I've had problems with hair loss. All of which I've always turned on and off to, not straight away, but I've always either turned to two things, which is either Viviscal, which is a hair growth supplement program, which is another great uh, tool as well, to your armory of products to try and combat hair thinning and hair loss. But Stemioxidine is certainly a product which I would absolutely recommend. So this range here I absolutely love. I love the treatment spray. It's really easy to use a pump action bottle. The only sort of negative I would say here is just that this seems to go very quickly, even though this is 100 mils. And the L'Oreal Stem Oxidine is 100 mils. But the difference is with this one, this comes in a glass pipette bottle here. Okay, I've got another one here as well, which I'm using at the moment. So I've got two full ones there. But those are ones which I use throughout the year. Um, so for anybody who has commented actually on my channel and said that he doesn't use those products, yes I do. You've seen them. These are my two empty bottles here, which I've been using for quite some time now. Um, these are my ones which I've bought recently. Okay, this this retails at around thirty pounds now. It's gone up. It used to be a little bit cheaper, but it has gone up. But it is great. But that is from L'Oreal Cerioxol, and that's the one I've used. And that comes in a glass for pet bottle. And this is just for stomach oxygen. Want to know more about that one? I will attach the clip on the end of this video. But this really great. In some respect, this is a little bit easier because you've of course got that that sort of pump action at the bottle there, which works great. So shampoo conditioner works fantastically using a blow dryer when you're styling your hair, creates that thicker, thicker feeling look. So if you're a woman sat there and you want those glamorous blow out, dry out, um, not dry hair, goodness, those amazing glamorous blow dry out, can't even say it, amazing glamorous <laughs> blow out looks with those amazing curls, those amazing waves, or if you're a man sat there thinking my pompadour hairstyle is looking a bit flat, looking a bit lank, could do some thickness, some fullness, then this is the range for you. If not the treatment spray, bearing in mind, this stuff works great at lifting the hair away from the scalp, making your hair appear fuller and thicker. We've got some great ingredients in here, rahamanose, um, we've got phylloxacine in here, we've got um, ceramide, peppermint oil, all great things which look after the scalp, helping us hopefully achieve that best scalp environment for the most thickest, fullest, densest head of hair. I really hope you've enjoyed this clip. I certainly have. It's one I've been waiting to do for quite a while. If you love this uh, clip um, comb, by the way, as well, I buy this from Amazon. Now, this has lasted me for a long time. This is great if you've got fine hair because it's literally just straight through if your hair's wet or if you're using a conditioner or a product and just straight through, it detangles your hair, it looks after your hair really, really great. So that's another thing if you've got finer textured hair as well, just to look after that hair as well, which is another tool in keeping great hair and of course scalp massage taking time to really really concentrate on those areas where you may be seeing some sort of areas of less density or you're a bit concerned particularly in the temples or just take a moment to do the whole of your scalp really really works i like to do this after the conditioner and i like to certainly do it after the treatment spray okay so i've covered a lot there i do appreciate it. so if you have any questions or anything anything at all, please leave them down below. I'll do my best to get back to you as quick as I can. And on that note, thank you very much for your company as ever. It means the world to me. And until next time, I will see you then. Bye for now.